All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rechakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutation and much love to you, Akim, out there pushing out his word in truth and sincerity. <clears throat> and uh, I just want to do a quick uh, in transit, or as well as edifying and exhorting to the Akim out there, uh, just about you know the the persecution that's coming. All right, because you see how all these people got something to say about the Israelites. Everybody and their mother, you know, want to talk about the Israelites, okay? You know, want to lump us all together, you know, because of, of one, something somebody did, you know, which was a, was a complete bug out. You know, speaking on the situation with this guy, uh, I forget, I don't, I don't remember his name, but he was, uh, it was in, he was in GMS before, but he was this complete demon, you know, he got casted out, you know, he got casted away. He got he got sifted out, you know. So people are gonna use that and run with it. You know, just so they can say, okay, you see, look look at these guys. There it is, they you know, they'll run the videos of us, you know, shouting, you know, death to America. You know, they'll 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 put up the compilations, you know, you know which ones. They'll, you know, when we're at where we're at, you know, when we when the brothers get heated, you know, sometimes and you know start, you know, condemning people and whatnot. Which really brothers don't even do that that much anymore. You know, that that was like a that, that's it's time to just to edify. That's all really we do. We edify and push out prophecy. Now if you come, you you come, you know, come and talk your shit out you, uh, out of the side of your neck, then you're liable to get, you know, a curse put on you and you know brother my uh um come down upon you <laughs> you know a little fiercer or, or a little more forward than if you would have just came and shut your mouth and listened but you know that's this is this is just it, it, it must be this is it must needs be even though you know we're trying to live the, the most peaceable lives we can all right live a righteous life in the eyes of Yahweh Shai. all right and the, what people you know gonna speak evil of us regardless okay Cause they look, they, they did it to our Lord and Savior Yahushai. They dragged his name all through the mud. And he did he what? He lived a perfect life, man. Didn't sin, you know. Literally a perfect life, and they still dragged his name through the mud. Called him a, a said he coming with uh, he was a devil. You know, saying that he was a demon, casting out demons in the in the name of Belzebub. You know, so there's no winning with, with especially with two thirds of our people. There ain't no winning with these niggas. They just gotta die. All right, because they're going to co-sign with the devil. Esau eat them, all right? <laughs> like King, uh, like Postal Hart said, uh, Wolf Cap Melon, all right, uh, or, or, a.k.a. King Edom, all right? They, you know, the two-thirds are going to uh, uh, hop on that bandwagon with them, all right? But you know what? This got to happen, you know? Our people got to come up against us. All right, these other nations, they got to come up against us. We got to be hated for you. How about Shimei Al-Shai's namesake? You know, this is, this is just something that has to happen. And you can't let it discourage you. All right, knowing these things are going to happen, and they have to happen, you know, what are you supposed to be doing? You're supposed to be rejoicing. All right, the scriptures say, um, blessed are ye when all uh, men shall revile you, you know, for my name's sake, or for righteousness' sake. Because all we're doing is reading Bibles, man. But here it is that we're the worst thing on the planet. You got pedophilia and all running rampant throughout the Catholic Church. You, uh, the Calvinists the, and the Christians have a history of, of raping, robbing, robbing, and murdering our people. All right, just straight de demolishing and destroying us. But we're the worst things on the planet. Here it is: one one guy gets out of pocket because he's a complete demon there and claimed to be an Israelite. But and, and now everybody, you know, everybody's gonna you know run with that. And I'll see these Hebrew Israelites, this and that. Well, wait a minute. If you if you want to, if that's how y'all want to play the game, then how many countless examples have we brought out of where you you and your religion, or right, your your uh, plantation Christianity has done nothing but bring destruction onto this earth, man? All right. The the way you're trying to push out the truth, well, not the truth. The way the way you push out your your philosophies is, is a philosophy of, of death and destruction, man. Cause that's where the, the power was given unto these devils, man. That red horse in the book of Revelation, whether I think it's chapter six, 
chapter 9 or 6, it says how, how power was uh, given to him to take peace from the earth. And that's exactly what you damn devils did. You, you ran Hebrew Edomites, all right, so the self-proclaimed white man, all right, you, you, you did nothing but bring death and destruction onto this earth. You took peace from the earth, you know? And now here it is, you're gonna play, you wanna play the victim. Look at this. And, and then you, you, you complain, bitch and moan when somebody calls you out on your wickedness. But then you, you, you know, you'll complain, bitch and moan and, and say, get over it. But when, when, when a nigga does something, Oh man, you you want to crucify him for it? <clears throat> when a Jake does something, you know they they get they get the death penalty for it, man. You can steal a candy bar or, or some Skittles, you get the death penalty for it. All right, because that's 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 the that, that's the devil for you, man. And above all the curses that the Lord has put on us, but now He's slowly removing them from us. All right, Deuteronomy 30 and 7 tells you that He's gonna put the, the curses that He put on us. He gonna put them on our enemies, man. And who's our number one enemy? The, the self-proclaimed white man, Esau Edom. So that's why you're fighting tooth and nail to demonize us, because you're starting to feel the heat from the Lord. All right, the Lord's has got your people all strung out on opium, opium, okay? All kind of Xanax and Percocets and all that, you know, that white boy shit, man. You know, yeah, you got Jake doing that shit, but. The number of the face of drug addiction is is, is is the red Hebrew Edomite man, pill popping, uh, uh, needle needle injecting, pill sniffing crackheads man. That's what they these, these this is a race of uh, of uh, of degenerates, and and the Lord is showing it. All right, through the power of of, of uh, uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh our side, His prophets are, are are bringing out the truth man, lifting up that skirt. Right, so you know what? You could keep demonizing us. You're just gonna further prove our point. Cause all we're doing is being peaceable, reading Bibles on the corners, and trying to wake our people up to their true nationality, trying to get them to stop doing wickedness. But we're we're somehow we're devils for that. We want our people to get right, you know. And yes, sometimes we get a little irate because we, you know, our our people are hard headed and stiff necked, like the scriptures say. So yeah, we get a little frustrated with our people because we're in the flesh. And, you know, that's when we start going into the, you know, into those, 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 you know, those moments where you, where you catch brothers condemning people because we get, we get sick and tired of, or, uh, of telling the same shit over and over. All right. And so how much more the heavenly father, you know, but, you know, you just further proving our point Esau that we are the people of the Lord. And, and then what we're saying is true. Cause if we, if we were, if we were saying something that was a lie, then you would just let us be. Just like you let the Islam be, you let the black conscious community be, all right? Why is vocab coming up against the Egyptology shit? And since he's a defender for the gospel, well, the, 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 the Egyptologists, Egypt, whatever the hell they call themselves, <coughs> the black conscious, the black unconscious community, they claim that the Bible is, is, is a fairy tale book. Well, why don't vocab go do videos about them, all right? Or why don't vocab go do videos about the pedophilia? Right or 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 the or, or the wickedness of I Islam, or any other religion, Buddhist, which that's they, all that shit has is, is got holes like Swiss cheese, man. The only thing that's that that's firm and standing uh, a boldly with a solid foundation is is is, is the men of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai that is proclaiming this truth throughout throughout the four corners of this earth. All right, but what you got people that are always gonna come up against the truth because what? They know that their deeds are evil. They swear they hate the light. Because that's what we, this is. This truth is a light. All right. So, and, and, it's, and it's on the top of a hill. All right. Top of a mountain. And it's being, it's being, it's spotlighting all you niggas, man. All you roaches. And that's what, that's what you don't like. The roaches don't like being spotlight, you know, being in the spotlight. But guess what? You're being exposed. And ultimately, you're going to be destroyed through the spirit and power of your by Shemiel Shai when he rains nuclear missiles upon this place. All right. Babylon the Great, all right, because Babylon the Great, aka America, is going to be destroyed via nuclear thermonuclear missiles. All right, so you know, you talk all the shit you want, you're still going to be destroyed at the end of the day. All right, Romans three and three. So what if some did not believe? Shall that change the faith of the Most High? Nah, man. All right, should that change? The, you know, nothing. That don't change nothing. Just because you don't believe us, 
really you don't believe the Lord because we come straight out of the scriptures. Anything we tell you, we're gonna get a precept on it. Maybe four. Alright, so you can you can pelt and beat your chest all you want. It's not gonna do a damn thing except further the gospel. So keep it up, you scoffers. Right? Because one of these days the Heavenly Father is gonna is gonna hit you with this truth like like a phone book to the face. Alright? Maybe you know you they used to beat people in France with phone books. Right, you're gonna get a spiritual phone book to the face real soon. All right, when 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 all these calamities come upon you. All right, when the when the hour with the time of martial law. All right, the, the race riots, civil unrest, civil war, World's War Three. <clears throat> all right, when the time of Jacob's trouble comes, then we'll see who, who who's gonna be scoffing. All right, who's gonna be mocking in that day? Who's gonna be laughing in that day? All right. And it's going to be the minute you're out watching me out shy. And with that, I don't want to decide this is edifying and exhorting. Hey, shalom to you, Akim out there. My walk love the ball.